Manaslu Conservation Area was designated protected area in 1998 by the government of Nepal. Covering an area of 1663 square kilometer, it includes seven wards of the Chumnubri Rural Municipality. The area covers namely three distinct parts besides the lower region of Sirdibas where the headquarters of National Trust for Nature Conservation MCAP is located. In the west of the region is the Nubri Valley consisting of the three wards of Samagao, Lo and Prok. In the center is the Kutang region made up of a single ward of Bihi whereas the eastern part of the area spreads through the Chum valley and consists of the wards of Chumchet and Chekampar The area has a total population of 8929 The area that is also locally called Kimlung means source of peace and it is among the sacred and secret land known as Biyul declared by Guru Padmasambhava the legendary Buddhist mystic of the 8th century Numerous gumbas stupas and mani walls have been built all over the region whereby people constantly participate in bringing life their faith among the notable occasions they celebrate losar archery horse riding and chekoro annually Serang Gumba is an example of a famous religious site in this region. Gumbas are important social religious institutions in Manaslu conservation area wherein besides Sirdibas almost all the people here follow the Buddhist tradition. Gumbas and their lamas are influential in promoting social values by developing and sometimes even enforcing social norms as is evidenced by the restrictions maintained in hunting. 
as a consequence of this, an important cultural practice in the upper part of Manaslu conservation area is that the hunting of wildlife is not acceptable to the community. The primary source of income for more than 60% of households here is agriculture and livestock, although trade is a seasonal activity prominent among many. Most households temporarily migrate during the winter season, from November, December up to March, April. A vividly fertile region for trekking, the Manaslu Conservation Area falls host to some of Nepal's much favored trekking destinations. Manaslu Conservation Area is among the hotspot tourist destinations of Nepal. Each year, more than 5,000 tourists visit the area, giving it tremendous scope for enhancing local alternative incomes while at the same time posing potential risks to the environment. Some popular attractions here are the Kaal Lake and the Birendra Lake. Besides the abundant rivers and waterfalls, mountains and glaciers. The area is also renowned for mountain climbers and researchers. One can find scores of blue sheep, Himalayan thar, pheasants, including a rich variety of species of birds. This is also a great habitat for the elusive snow leopard and the musk deer. So it isn't any surprise that abundant varieties of flora and fauna are found in here. A total of 756 species of plants and 19 different vegetation types have been recorded so far. Whereas 39 species of mammal, 201 species of bird are found in this area. The goal of Manaslu Conservation Area is to achieve and sustain a balance between biodiversity conservation and socio-economic development. The project is driven to build sustainable systems within challenging social and economic development contexts to empower local people and to develop tourism in such a way that it will have minimum negative environmental impacts. In my mind, although a motor road coming to this area is desirable for the local people, at least they claim that they would like to see a motorable road coming up into the Manaslu area. In my mind, it's essential for tourism that the motor road not come to this area. We know from the Annapurna Conservation Area that once a motor road uh, arrives, tourism stops. And also uh, a motor road will bring in outside influences uh, which will seriously undermine the traditions and the cultures of the people here. From its very inception, MCAP has been mobilizing local people in conservation and development initiatives. MCAP has been implementing itself 
through the integrated conservation and development programs focusing on infrastructure development, livelihood improvement, tourism management and resource conservation. To reach the Manaslu conservation area, one can easily avail bus services from Kathmandu to Arughat. To get to Arughat alone, one will have to drive approximately five hours, from where one has to walk to Soti. One can reach Arughat on a motor vehicle from the district headquarter Gorkha. The foot trails from Soti will take you through Lapubesi, Machakola, Tatopani and Yarubagar until you reach Jagat, the point from where the Manaslu conservation area starts. Travelers will come to experience unique attributes distinct to each new village they reach. One can also reach Manang from the Manaslu conservation area by traveling through Samagao, Samdo and Dharmashala and then over the crossing in Larki Pass. There are helipads built at different points of the trail to ensure urgent rescue operations and access. The Manaslu trek spans for a total of 14 days. One would take the same duration for Chum Valley also. Another high pass trekking trail goes from Barpak through Rubinala Pass to get to Nyak Fede from where one can rejoin the Manaslu trek. Thank you.